All right, guys, let's talk about how to play this song called Royalty by Connor Maynard. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, let's get right into it. So the intro is a, kind of like a children's story, a little bit like a, uh, a children's theme kind of thing. So here's what you're going to do. The notes are... So that's the basic melody of the intro here. D, C, E, B flat, A, F, G, C, D, E. All right. Now with the left hand, it's a little like this. F with a C on the bottom. And now with the left hand has a B flat in it because it's a dominant seventh of F major. And now you're going to add in the F sharp in the left hand here. It's a nice kind of dissonant uh, chord and it kind of builds up the tension to the real part of the song. And then the dominant seventh here, that, uh, that's the last chord before the intro starts or before the, uh, you know, the chorus intro begins. So let me go over this one more time. Or actually it's like this. <laughs> And then B flat. Okay. And now, uh, you know what? I'm going to keep in this octave here for the rest of the song, just so you can get an idea. Uh, and it'll, it'll sound a little better too. So, uh, here's the notes for the chorus, basically. So it opens up the verse. The chorus has a turn, and then the verse begins. So, the chords are B flat, A major, 7, so the G is basically on the bottom here in the right hand, D minor, so it's dominant 7th of G minor, or of D minor basically, and then D minor, and it repeats again, and then B flat, same chords, and then it goes to F major, to C major. Again, and you know I'll go on to the second part of the verse, and then we'll go over it again. And then B, B flat, A seven, D minor. Again, B, B flat major, A seven, D minor. And now D, C major. So it goes up to a second inversion or first inversion here of C major. So from D, now up to C major first inversion to F major, and then A seven. the entire royalty part is a D minor chord and then you know you can alternate hands here to achieve that pounding bass effect so let's go over it again here The little lick here that occurs after that first part of the um, chorus is basically D, F, A, D. That's it. It's an arpeggio, D minor arpeggio. Very simple, but it sounds awesome, okay? So with it combined, here's what it sounds like. is A, G, F, F, and it just repeats. Now for the verse, here's the notes. And remember, the chords are the same here. So in the chorus and the verse, the chords are the exact same, the same uh, structure. So quickly, Back into royalty. 
royalty. All right. Um, so the melody is this. D, F, G, A, F, F. Okay. D, F, G, A, F, F. And then F, G, A, F, C, A, G. And then it goes B flat, B flat, A, G, G, F, A, G, G, F, A, G, A. So. So that's basically the chorus that goes on in the beginning. Um, the second verse is basically exactly the same. Uh, the, the, the song structure is pretty interesting because it begins with that little intro, then it has the chorus um, and without the royalty. So just as the first part of the chorus, then the verse, then the chorus with the royalty, and then the rest is standard. So you have verse two, um, chorus with the royalty, uh, chorus and then the bridge and the final chorus. Um, the final chorus is actually uh, just the royalty part. So, um, so the bridge, uh, the it's changed slightly. Instead of just a B flat major chord, now you have an A flat an A flat in there. So it sounds like right, which is, sounds pretty good. Sounds pretty exotic and a little bit jazzy. I like that. trumpet in the background is, you know, obviously contributes to that, that swing feel. Um, so the A here, this is basically a B flat uh, 7, B flat uh, minor 7, and it goes to an A 7 to a D minor, and this is basically the progression for the bridge. It, ju it just continues. And then you get out on your own licks on the right hand here. So it's like... That that part's basically up to you, and just in jazz, just like in jazz, you can improvise um, this part as you like. The final chorus um, is basically just the royalty part, so it goes, and I'm sure you know this by now. This is all D minor chords. You can add in an A major chord. repeats twice okay so thank you for watching guys i hope you enjoy this uh this is a pretty catchy song i gotta admit and uh i just had to cover it so uh, thank you for, very much for watching and i will definitely see you in the next video see you later